Our last scripture of the day about the authority of Jesus comes from the final book in our Bible, the book of Revelation, from chapter 1, verses 17 and 18, where John says, When I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead, but he placed his right hand on me, saying, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last and the living one. I was dead, and see, I am alive forever and ever, and I have the keys of death and Hades. This is the beginning of the remarkable book of Revelation, and John is having this incredible vision of Jesus, who, notice the first words that he speaks, do not be afraid. And so often throughout the Bible, from the very beginning to the very end, when God appears or a messenger of God appears, do not be afraid is the beginning of the message. It sometimes makes me laugh because if any of us saw the risen Christ like John did, we'd be afraid too. So if by the time Christ says, do not be afraid, or an angel says to someone, do not be afraid, in many cases it's probably too late. But Jesus asserts he is the first and the last, the Alpha and the Omega. He is the living one. He was dead, but he is alive forevermore. And that is part of our essential hope as followers of Jesus Christ. And when it comes to his authority, notice that he says he has the keys to death and of Hades. You may recall that after his crucifixion that one of Peter's letters in the New Testament asserts that Jesus went and preached to those who were in prison since the time of Noah. The idea that not even death has power or authority over Jesus. And that is a remarkable thing for us to think about. So many of us, one of people's greatest fears is death and dying. And part of what set apart the early Christians was the courage with which they faced even persecution and death. And part of what enabled them to do that was their firm belief that Jesus was Lord, not only of the living, but of the dead, because Jesus had authority even over death itself, because not even death could keep Jesus in the grave. God's power at work in him was greater. I hope you'll join us for worship on Sunday when we talk about how we respond to the authority of Jesus.